Hey friends, Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Another beauty of lock and hubs. When you've got a shaft that's splined directly to the hub, if something goes wrong with either one, you're just deadlined. Just SOL on the truck, on the road, off road, it don't make a shit. You are coming to a complete standstill. So, here it is, nearly February 2020, almost a year ago, we went to uh, Bricks up there in Missouri with the monster truck. Took the monster truck, took the big one-ton Chevrolet, that's what this is off of. Anyway, we buried my one-ton dually. Got it stuck, had to be pulled out by a monster truck, and oh man, it was a real shit show. So, kind of like the Jeep, and uh, I made a video out there, Rednecks with Paychecks, this fall too, about how we hadn't serviced it and hadn't touched it, and that one with the locker falling off. Well, that was the driver's side. Here's the passenger side. So I decided not to service it. We just got back a couple of weeks ago running out to California, picking up the Viper buggy. Got back and I said, Jay, there's some noise up underneath there. See what it is. Well, here you go. Shaft's completely destroyed. Locker's completely destroyed. Wanted to see how long she went. She ended up going about... Uh, Three fifty-five hundred miles. No cleanup, no grease, no nothing. Basically, I was doing an intentional destruction. So, even with this like it was, because it was disconnected and allowed to free spin, we were able to proceed on. That's what lock and hubs do for you. Do yourself a favor. Change the complete attitude and drivability of that truck you got by putting on some lock and hubs. Remember, if you've got factory hubs, if the front wheels are turning, then that hub and the front end is turning. There's no way around it. So, what you didn't really realize is you driving around with a full-time, full-wheel drive. When Dodge and Chevrolet and everybody else went to the unit-bearing hubs in the 90s and early 2000s, they said, we not going to spend no money like Ford. We just going to let the end consumer, the buyer, eat that shit and eat that cost. So... We got trucks driving around besides the Ford Super Duties that are designed for all the time off-road and no street time. The exact ass opposite of the way it should be. Most trucks are driven 99 .9999999 percent on pavement yep check it out very few trucks have gone 100 miles off-road full-wheel drive even at 500,000 miles on a diesel god bless you god bless america and happy mopar -ing.